glory this evening as we lift up the name which is above every name. That's the name of Jesus. There's no other help I know. And I thank God that I do know that much about Jesus Christ, our Lord God and Savior, the author, finisher, the commander of everything for us. I'm asking for the Holy Spirit to begin to bless so many of you and to draw you closer to him. As the Lord draws you closer, you begin to be sustained in the things that be of the kingdom. As we bind up the enemy, we plead the blood of Jesus. And we ask the Father to begin to minister life and life more abundantly for so many that those that will know, shall know, can know what thus saith the Lord. And so we thank God for his spirit, especially now, and for those that will believe God and stand on his word. I want you to know this much about the Lord. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof and they that dwell therein. We are as people, the sheep of his pastures. Therefore, we enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. We're thankful unto him and we bless his name. This is the first fruits. It's that time where we begin to come before the Lord with our whole heart. And as we come before the Lord with everything, we ask for the Holy Spirit to minister and do minister life and life more abundantly, especially for those that will simply believe at the same time receive and know who their God is. Now, I'm asking for many of you right now, as you begin to stand in the liberty where we Christ have made you free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage because there is bondages that actually come and get into people's lives and destroy them. And I do believe that the Holy Spirit is moved now upon those of you that will receive, understand the sacred plan of who he is and where God truly has ordained you to be who you are for such a time as this. And therefore, as we call upon the name of the Lord, the Lord is a high tower, and the righteous run into him, and they are saved. I thank God for salvation. I thank God for saving grace, unmerited favor. I thank God for being God, the only one I know to be the Alpha and Omega, first, last, beginning, and ending, almighty. So right now, as you come with me, <laughs> excuse me, and we come together and we submit and surrender ourselves to the living God, we're going to bind up the enemy and we're going to plead the blood of Jesus. And I want you to go with me as we do this very thing right now. And we begin to tell the devil, no, not so. The devil will send you symptoms of things and you ain't got to receive it. And you just got to break it down and say, ah, no, not so. I am a believer. I believe the word of God stands true. And he's the Alpha and Omega, first, last, beginning and ending, Almighty God, as we call upon his name right now, for those of you that will and shall believe, and because Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father, we're going to lift him up in this podcast. And so many of you that have visions and dreams of doing things in this brand new year, 2003, I want you to open up to the living God and say, Father, I want you to show me, is there anything too hard for God? And I would say this much, no, nothing, absolutely nothing is too hard for the living God. Will you come with me quickly, speedily, and in a hurry? I'm a firm believer that God can, God will, and God shall give you the miracles that you need right now. You may not understand the mystical plan of the kingdom of God and why God has truly ordained you to be that soldier in the army of the Lord. And God wants you to understand where he's about to take you. Now, not by power, nor by might, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. I'm a firm believer that if you begin to operate in the spirit of God, the thing that you have need of, God can do it so easily and quickly, speedily, and in a hurry. So right now, I want you to come with me as we seek the face of God to do what God has commissioned and called us to do by his spirit. Father, I'm asking for your anointing 
to move on us right now because there's so many people that really need a move of your spirit and you're the only one dear God that can do exceedingly and abundantly far above and over what any of us might ask a thing and because dear God you gave us this time and the mindset of getting into that place where you will permit us and allow us to do what you commissioned us to do we humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God the season is better known as being due season and we thank God for this particular season because we know the hour is late timing is actually being manifested. a lot of people are going to have to come into what we better know as being the foreknowledge of the kingdom of god father move by your spirit as we ask you to do it now by the power of the holy ghost in jesus name we pray it amen i want to thank god for being here this evening and i thank god for you being here right along with me amen and you know something we're decreeing, we're declaring, because the Bible says, if two of you shall touch and agree and ask anything in my Father's name, anything, he said, I will do it. God said he'll do it. Yes, he will. He'll do exceedingly and abundantly. What? Far above and over. What? What you might ask and what you might think. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. The lesson is permitting God to teach you how to be still and how to wait. Anybody that wait on the Lord and be steadfast, the purpose of the kingdom of God will be manifested for their life. And everybody that's in this present age or this time, there's a new mindset in the midst of the Spirit of God where God can, will, and shall do exceedingly and abundantly far above and over what any of us might ask a thing. Well, there's boundaries for some people because they can't go far and neither go far enough. But if you're going into that place, it's a place where God has truly ordained for you to be. Of course, the enemy will get angry with you. Because he automatically knows that if you go into that place, the kingdom of God comes. Now his will must be done on earth as it is in heaven. God is doing a work. And it's going to take a people that you know, we know, all of us know, to get into that place where God can work through us, surround us, quicken us, strengthen us, the Spirit of God begin to give us that special anointing that will begin to destroy and to break every yoke. Now, I want you to know this. The Spirit of God is poured out in this hour without measure upon those that shall receive him. As the Bible would say, as many as receive him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, vessels that's chosen and they're brought to a place called destiny. And anytime you get into that place, there's something that God is going to do, not only for you, for others just like you, and bring you full circle into the place where he is and where he shall live. Now, I'm asking many of you to come boldly with me as we press our way up the King's Highway. And the Spirit of the living God to fall fresh on every one of you. Now, as you begin to believe God for the freshness of the outpouring of God's Spirit, I want you to taste and see and know that the Lord is good. Long as you know that He's good, there's nothing that God can't do, won't do for you. And He is good. Not some of the time my God is good all the time. Now, I want you to do something. Be a partner with us in this ministry. Partnership brings ownership. We all are looking up and looking forward to owning the kingdom of God. Too many people say they want to go, but they don't go. And why they don't go is because they don't want to go. They're trying to hold on to something in this world. You cannot have one foot in the world and one foot going into the kingdom. Either you're going to go all the way 
or no way at all because Jesus is the way. He's the truth and also the life. I want you to share on your phone. Push share. And as you push share, your friends will see what you're doing. We used to have watch parties, but they took that off the phone or off of our page as far as Facebook, and we would draw all kinds of people in. Now all we got is a share button where we can share, and our phone will send out a message, and everybody in our phone dial directory will pick it up. And so that's how we do this. We got to reach souls any kind of way that we can and bring them in to the foreknowledge of Jesus Christ. All right, we thank God for being here this evening. We thank God for all of you. I used to have some friends that come along with us, but they don't come anymore. They didn't realize the front lines is the front lines. Anytime you're on the front line, then God can do something. But if you don't get on the front line, God can't do nothing. It's time for all of us to get on the front lines. And let's begin to do the work of the kingdom together. We are to pray one for the other. And there's a lot of people that's praying, but they're not staying where the Spirit of the Lord is. Because where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I'm a firm believer that if you permit God to begin to give you the words of wisdom and the knowledge and of understanding, God will begin to bless you in more ways than one. Come on, somebody. Let's run and get into the things of God right now. Why? Because the hour is later than you think. And sometimes people begin to look at you and say, well, what do you mean it's later? We are running out of time. And our spiritual clock is actually winding down. We've got to move into that dimensional rim of the spirit and make time account for something because God is calling us closer to him. So I want you to do something. I want you to pray with us. Whatever you need prayer for or pray about, I want you to call the prayer line number. Now we have a 24 off the air prayer line number and then we have what they call a um, number that's on the screen. When you call that number, 313, I think is 915-2384. 915-2384. I think that's the number, 313. And I'm doing it off of memory, so you guys got to work with me. <laughs> Man. And it's a tremendous blessing. You know what great honor it is. Once we stepped out here on faith, nothing wavering, we start believing God for the impossible to be made possible. And I see the impossible being made possible. Connect the dots of the Holy Spirit and God himself. God is bringing us together. Why? We're getting ready to rule reign with him throughout eternity. Therefore, we've got to begin to pull ourselves into that place where God's Spirit can bless us and give us that added strength that we need, especially now. Now I'm looking for many of you to call in and to check in and to let me know how the Holy Spirit is dealing with you this evening. It's a free for all. Any of you like to call in, you can call. Tell me what your adventure is in the Word or what Bible study have God given you. And I'm believing that you can do that quickly, swiftly. In fact, you can even get in a hurry if you want to. We're here to have church with you in a very special, special way. I'm asking for God to just permit you to be there with us in Jesus' name. Okay, that's 915-2384. And I just need some bold soldiers that don't mind coming out here on the turf of the Holy Spirit, on that holy ground, that sacred ground, where God's Spirit can minister for you, to you, and through you. And if God can do it, God can do anything but fail. So come on, let's believe God together. It works for me, and guess what? It shall and it will work for you. I've been asking the God to do something, and I find him to be real good at doing it. And I'm asking God, as we go out on faith, nothing wavering, standing on his word to see the manifestation of who he is, and all the love that God got for us, knowing that he lives, and he wants to live big in his people, I want you to come on board with us this evening. 
And as you do, I want the Spirit of God to just bless you in more ways than one. I've seen it happen before, and many times when I begin to see God work, He pours out His Spirit without measure. And I need somebody to permit God to do a special work, especially now. There's a revival that's taking place because we are in the last days. And the outpouring of God's Spirit is moving right now, especially upon those that will simply receive, believe, and stand on His Word. And I believe you're the person where God is standing right now, and His Word is bringing on the manifestation of who He is. Remember now, love gives, and love can hide a multitude of sins. And for those of you that will know and shall know that God is taking sin off of his people and putting grace and unmerited favor upon them, he's transforming their lives. And I love to see change because change can rearrange everything. So therefore, those of you that will permit God to be God, he can change everything. So right now, as you begin to touch down on the basis of God's word right now, and it's going to be a blessing both to me and you, I want you to call that number on your screen, 313-915-2384, 313-915-2384. Now, I'm asking God to do that for you right now, in Jesus' name. Now, as I believe God for the vision that God has given you, what has God given you for 2023? What have you seen? Or what are you seeing? In the spirit of God, let's see. God bless you, caller, and good evening. Good evening, Pastor. Yes, God bless you, Cora. Yes, I am calling in to say how the Holy Spirit works with me and through me is when I'm on the prayer line. And when I'm praying for others, I pray through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And you see the Lord moving? Yes. Yes, Pastor. What type of signs and miracles does God show you? Well, um, a lady, um, she was having problems with her kidneys. And uh, another lady needed a home. And uh, I just basically um, have on my, in my notebook of the uh, people that has been calling in uh -huh. that's been asking for prayer. And uh, one lady, she was asking for prayer because her son has been uh, disrespectful to her that he actually beat her up. Oh, no. Yeah, and I get a lot of calls with the uh, disobedient kids and everything. It's, it's just so painful. Mm. Yes, another person uh, lost his job, and uh, his friend called in uh, asking for prayer that his job be restored. Yes. Another man uh, had a spine injury, and uh, it's just so so many things and so much pain when the people be calling the prayer line, they be so desperate, desperate. And it's just, my heart just go out to the people. And I always pray through the power of the Holy Spirit. And if God need me to counsel with someone, I counsel under the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. I don't never try to put my opinion in only what God tell me to say, had me to say. Amen. when the people call in on the prayer line. So that's how God is working with me through the power of the Holy Spirit. That's wonderful. Did the lady that her son beat him, did she press charges? She was saying that it had happened when she was younger, oh. but he is still being disrespectful to her, and he never apologized to her or anything, and they do not get along. So he was, she was praying for his mind, that he would uh, have the mind of Christ, that he would just uh, change his mind towards her. 
Well, I believe that she should actually move away from him, if at all possible, and just back away <clears throat> yeah. and let him yeah. be to himself. Because that's a terrible thing for a son to put his hands on his mother. Yes, I'm yes, asking God yes, yes, yes. that those spirits... And uh, also, Pastor, uh, a lady called on yesterday, and she was having problems with her neighbor. Hmm. And you know I'm familiar with that. So yes. I really prayed, <laughs> prayed oh, yeah. about that situation. That show you're not the only one. Yes. Oh, Pastor, yes. It's just too much going on, too much going on. But we had a victory. I don't care what it looks like. And as long as we've been praying, you've been praying, and other prayer warriors have been praying, and we got the victory. I don't care what it looks like. We got the victory. Oh, yes. I got the victory. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we are determined to actually stand on the word of God in season, out yes. of season, and to believe God that those that's been victimized would actually find themselves to come out from among others that's trying to contaminate the mindset and have faith in God and to believe that the prayers we pray, mm -hmm. they always stay in position so that people can say, well, the prayer works. It mm -hmm. does. New kidneys, new hearts, new arms, new legs, new limbs, the spirit of God to heal children, to heal yeah. families, marriages. We believe God for that. So we thank yeah. God for that, Cora. Give them yeah. the 24-hour prayer line number that they can call. Yes, that 24-hour off-the-air prayer line number is 313-279-0558. Three one three two seven nine zero five five eight, and also if you'd like to make a donation, you can call Elder Marie, and her number is three one three five one zero one one five four. And I did have a lady to uh, call in; she got my voicemail, but I did call her back and gave her the uh, PO box she was asking for, so she could make a donation. Yes. And that PO box number is PO box two. 7591 Detroit, Michigan, 48227. You can abbreviate your checks and money orders, SWM, abbreviation for Supernatural Word Ministry. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that. And may the Spirit of God continue to bless you as we begin to search for those souls yes, that will Lord. stand up in the Word of God and declare and to decree and to speak and to call those things that be not as though they were in Amen. Jesus' name. And it is so. Amen. Yes, it is. Amen. All God right. bless you, Pastor. God bless Bye -bye. you. We give God the praise for that. All right. Area code. Here it goes here. 313-915-2384. Area code 4. I'm asking for many of you to call that number right now. I want to thank God for what he's doing. And we're having a play as we pray one for another, call the Great White Throne Judgment. And I'm asked Florence, I don't know if she can call in and begin to share with us because we're getting it ready now. We're almost at that time. And also we want to pray for, I and mean, we're putting the senior choir together. I thought that was so funny. And they want to sing because I'm part of the seniors. You know what I'm talking about. But basically I don't mind it because I think it would be funny because we sang that old-time religion and sometimes we sang the modern hip-hop up-to-date songs but the thing is I, I like the old school so you might hear me singing different types of songs when you look at the podcast when we come on Fridays and Tuesdays this Tuesday we couldn't get everything working but this coming Friday we're gonna believe we have everything up and running so we're gonna believe God for that and I want to believe God with you so whatever you're going through let's believe God let's take hold of what we call victory and declare the moment that we now live in for the kingdom of God. I'm going to believe with you and for you. I don't care how bad it looks. God is able to do anything. You want a miracle? He's just a prayer away. When you call that 313-915-2384, he's just a miracle away. If two of you shall touch and agree and ask anything in my Father's name, he said, I will do it. He promised. Yes, he did. And he's ready to do it for you 
right now. In the name of Jesus, I see my father doing it now. So if you could just move right into the place where God would have you to be, God is ready to do great things for you. He has done marvelous. He has done marvelous. He has done marvelous things. And I want you to come on and let him do marvelous things for you. He can change and rearrange everything. I look at the impossible being made possible. I do believe that when people are faced with impossibilities, if they can look to the hills from whence cometh their help, their help cometh from God, the creator, the maker, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I do believe that he could do anything. So if you want to do something for God, I want you to come on with me. We're going to do this. For the kingdom of God and to the glory of God, I really believe in the manifestation of who he is. Love gives, and it hides a multitude of sins. Do you believe that? I'm a firm believer that God can do anything. I want you to pick up that phone and dial right now. Those of you that don't mind coming out from where you are. Liz, God bless you. Clark Jackson, bless you this evening. God bless you. Um, looking at, I already seen Cora came on there. Shirley Jackson, God bless you. Amen. Leslie, bless you, Leslie. Hallelujah. And Pastor Larry, God bless you. Amen. Tremendous blessing and oh, what great honor it is. In Jesus' name, I thank God. I get a great time looking at some of you guys come through. <clears throat> and you do come through. What a blessing it is. All right? We're almost at the half an hour mark. And I'm only pushing people that want to be pushed. I'm only believing for people that want to believe. Do everybody want to believe? No, all men have not faith. Sometimes you try to get people on the straight and narrow. They got to be willing. On top of that, they got to be obedient. For the Bible says, if you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. I'm asking God to bring you into the obedient realm of his spirit. I don't know all the things that I think everyone should know because we got a lot of people think they know everything. I let them go on because you can go ahead and believe that you can know everything. But basically, you find out you don't know as much as you thought you knew. When it's time to get into the spirit of God. It's time for you to decrease that he might increase. It's time to be led by his spirit. I want to thank God for the spirit of the Lord. For where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Yes, it is. And I'm a firm believer that anybody that will be led by the spirit, God can do anything but fail. And I'm asking for somebody to say, well, I'm willing. And he said, if you be willing and obedient, guess what? You shall eat the good of the land. I thank God for that. I really do. And what I'm thanking God for also is that when God gave me the platform to continue the journey, I didn't mind getting on that platform, learning to do what he commissioned and called me to do. Do you mind right now of getting on that journey with God? God want to do something. And the thing that God want to do, he's just trying to find a vessel that he can do it through. Are you that vessel? Because if you're that vessel, come on and bring glory to his name. Apostle Underwood, are you there? I know you might look at it, but I could never see you online here. And also, if you can find Florence, I wanted to make a announcement about the uh, play that we're having for the young people. Uh, I'm very grateful for that. It starts off with the, the babies, really, but I call them the teenagers, and then we go up into the adults, and we almost appear. I got my little angels, and I got my little demons that's running around there, and basically that could actually take on a role of getting people to stand before the judgment seat of God. A lot of us are going to have to stand before God and give an account. And sometimes people seem to think, well, 
God really don't want to deal with me. Oh, yes, he does. God wants you to come forth. For the time that we now live in is a great time where the Spirit of God is going to be poured out without measure to help his people to understand the plan of his grace, his mercy, and his power. In the name of Jesus, I'm asking God to get a hold to many of you and to bring you forth. For the time that we now live in is a very short period where the Holy Spirit is going to bring forth a people out of a people. And I'm quite sure I'm talking to some of you that God wants to use. And I feel it in my spirit. Can anybody call in and say, Lord, use me? Because God wants to use you. And you'll catch a mantle of his anointing where, just like that, the Spirit of God will begin to show you what needs to be done. And the people that won't refrain or run from the call, or run to the call of God, to be used of God. I really feel good about that. A lot of people say, well, I want to be used. If you want to be used, come on. Let's just let God use you. And in letting God use you, a whole lot of things are going to change. In fact, some things are going to be rearranged and put in the proper place so you can know that it is God using you for his praise, his honor, and his glory. In the name of Jesus, come on, somebody. Let's believe him. I want to believe with you. I want to stand with you. In that liberty where we Christ has made all of us free, the entanglements, the yokes of bondage, they will not be able to hold you, neither hold you captive. I'm concerned about what you can learn especially as you put yourself in that place where God can do great and mighty things. I'm really concerned about that, but I'm believing God with you right now. So pick up and dial right now. Area code, are you ready for this? We're going at it again. 313-915-2384. Call now. This very moment is so important. Time is of the essence. And I believe time is running out. I've run into too many people that don't know what time it is. Spiritually, miraculously, supernaturally. Let's do this. The kingdom of God suffereth violence. But the violence take it by force. And I just believe I have some people that's viewing us right now that know how to get violent in the realm of spiritual warfare. In the name of Jesus, let's believe God together, wherever you may be, in Jesus' name. All right. God bless you, Carla, and good evening. How are you? God bless you, Carla. Amen. God bless you. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Amen. Amen. This is Brother Harold. I just want to say I'm standing in the gap and praying with you and praying for the people of God. I uh, I got an email from this Body of Christ page that I created um, a while ago. And there is a guy, he left a telephone number as well. Maybe I can give it to uh, some of the prayer partners. Okay. And it says, uh, please be praying for our family. My mother is in hospice and uh, wow. has to have a nurse. Our nurse at the time can be very rude at times. There is a, there is a stressed out, rude, and sarcastic, and a sarcastic rude, I guess, that the lady has. Mm -hmm. I know we are to pray for her as Christians and treat her good, but the problem lies in that she makes major decisions in regards to my mother's health, and I am pretty sure she wouldn't be led by God's Spirit when doing it. Please pray we get a new nurse, one that will do right by my mom. Pray for my brother's job. He has been hit hard by COVID. His mm -hmm. hours has been cut in his car. 
he has to travel uh, an hour and almost 20 minutes, you know, I guess to work. Wow. Pray for me, if you don't mind. Recently, we filed a report against the hospital, and it went all the way to the State Department. And the hospital either paid them off or called in a favor. The hospital is worth millions of dollars, and politicians are there quite a bit doing projects. We had a journal and pictures with dates and times, and they claimed nothing happened. They lied about the whole thing. Pray God makes amends for my mom. It's not right what they did, and thank you for your prayers. Amen. Father, whatever he's going through, especially he's pouring out himself because of the, his mom's in hospice. Yes, Lord. And that simply means she don't have long. Because in hospice, they do make different decisions based on her health or the pain they might think she's in. And God, right now, I'm asking for him to get the miracle that he needs to keep his mom a little longer. And to God, that all this other stuff, it doesn't matter. But Jesus, when you walk into the room, anybody that's dying, they live all over again. I'm asking for you to bless him. And give him the mindset that he needs to understand what is the will of God concerning my mom. In Jesus' name, we pray it now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless. Thank you, Harold. Hey, no problem. God bless you, Bishop. We give God the praise for that. A lot of you right now just like he got that email and that text. And we need those. We need all of them. We need people to come on board with us as we pray one for the other. The man was totally stressed out about his mom, but mothers are sacred people to their children. And nobody can mess with their mom or talk any kind of way to their mom or abuse their mom. They will get upset. Remember when we were younger back in the day, we would say your mama, and we'd say those words as being cruel people, young people, because we didn't want nobody to talk about our mothers. Well, it's obvious. The Lord knows our mother better than we do. And I'm so grateful that even now, that little situation will change. God bless you, Colin. Good evening. Pastor. Uh Uh-huh. I'm just praying that we reach out and touch somebody. When there were two kids, that woman laying in the field with her two babies froze to death. I knew it before they even told me. And her daughter walked to find help. It's truly time for us to be about the father's business. You know, even though people got addictions to where you can't come in the house, you're going to steal this and that. Just like you said earlier, we're going to be all be held accountable for what we've done in this life. And it's, the temperature is dropping, and people got cars. Like, I used to pick up everybody, but it ain't about me. But if you see somebody, you got the finances. So it come together, uh, just like the brother Gray that walked to Sign that grace, which uh, sows into your ministry mm-hmm. faithfully. God is doing a new thing. I say, for the foot, go out early in the morning like we used to do. That's why I thank God for Howard, who used to be on the prayer line. We got to go and get somebody because God's given us so much grace in spite of what we're in global warming, but he's doing it for a reason, because he said he's requiring a more excellent spirit. And we got to do something. We cannot continue to allow this, because this is a way station. This is a purging ground, but it's not our final destination, Pastor. So we got to continue this journey. Now talk about it, be about it. Ain't about just talking about it. We got to be about it. And the healing is in his wings. Your eyes, as you said, in Ephesians 1, enlighten the eyes of the people of God. 
Amen. God all bless right. and all our families. In Jesus' name, Sunday has been over. Amen. All right. Bless you. Well, we give God the praise for that. Amen. Yet a lady that laid in the field with the two children, the third one walked to find help. And it was amazing to me. It was amazing to me. And as the third one walked to find help, that really touched me. But when they did get back, the mother and the other two siblings was dead. And that touches your heart. It does. It really does. And I would to God, I would have had that inkling or that discernment or that leading of his spirit. I would have went right there and said, come on, man. You don't have to be out here. And sometimes we just don't know. But we're not supposed to know everything. Something is what we call God's permissive will. I don't know why she was walking in that cold field. I probably could never imagine what could have driven her to leading her babies out there. But whatever it was, I do believe that God knew. And I'm saying this to all of you. God knows. He knows all about us. So right now, I'm saying it to you. Call now. Whatever prayer request you might have on your heart. And I believe I'm asking God to do a work in the city of Detroit with our officers because they face a lot of dangers. And the young ones that have zeal, they have to get the knowledge and be very careful as they deal with the public. And it's hard work. I don't tell nobody say that's very hard. And yet we hold people up because there's a lot of people that need to be held up before the Lord. So let's do that. The line is open right now. You don't mind sharing 313-915-2384. Call that number right now, and let's pray about it. I believe just that a little simple prayer will make things better. We come on from 8 to 9, five days a week, I do believe, and Fridays we're off for the weekend, and we go right on, and we come on in the morning at 103.5 WMUZ, the light. And we come on, and we pray for the whole United States, the world, and a lot of people up at that time, you would never think they would be. And some people are on their way to work. Some people can't sleep. Some people are sick. Some people are going through family problems. It's called the fourth watch. And it's the supernatural word ministry. The sigma behind us is an app. Lifeline, prayer line, ministries is an app. You can download that app onto your phone. And as you download it, it'll pop up. And as it pops up, you know when we're on. And we might come on in the middle of the day sometime, just have an emergency prayer. See, prayer is the ultimate sacrifice, and it's the key that unlocks any door. So right now, if you're there, you can call now, 915-2384, 915-2384, area code 313. And in doing that, the Holy Spirit will promptly bring you into a place that you possibly have never, ever been before. <clears throat> and God can bless you. Yes, he can. I'm a firm believer that he can do anything but fail. In Jesus' name, amen. I thank God. Now we're moving forward. God bless you, caller. Amen. Remember when Hagar, uh, Abraham, you know, he made the decision to have another son. He thought that was the son. And then Hagar, they sent her You're talking about son. Ishmael. And Pastor, that reminded me of that girl. And he sent to her a foreign land. He, but God still covered us. That's his covenant relationship. Well, first I had a vision. First it blew my mind. And I could see her covering her babies, man, in that field. But God still honors our prayers. 
we got to keep doing what we're doing, but we got to get deeper. God says he's requiring a more excellent spirit. He's requiring a more excellent wisdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, Pastor, this is so deep. Bye. All right. Oh, my All right. God. We got it. <laughs> Look, I know we're going to cry some tears because that hurts. And But yet, that don't mean we're going to stop. We're going to continue to pray and let God have his way. When we're fighting a demonic spirit, a devil, that's out here to destroy a nation, a land, a people. Look at the people in Ukraine. That is a powerful thing to see how many were lost there. God bless you, Colin. Good evening. I just thank God for life on today. I think I left you an answer. Uh, I left message you got to talk right into the phone, Bessie. Okay. I left you a message yesterday. Went to the doctor to, for a checkup. And when the nurse told me, they didn't take nurse practice, they didn't tell you what happened. But I thank God that that three, that 30% of my heart still beat it and I'm alive today. I just thank God for just life, you know, just just being happy. And on another note about the young lady and the two kids, if they do a research, the husband had gotten killed last year. And she never got over it, Pastor. Her husband was getting shot down and killed. Oh, wow. But the, the other, I, I don't know, the 10-year-old was the one that survived, but we're just going to pray for the family. I'm praying for Margaret. I don't know which one Margaret is. They said about the kids, you know, the taking away. But I just thank God for victory on today, and I thank God for life. In Jesus' name, God bless Amen. you, Pastor. Bless Amen. you. Amen. Amen. Well, you've got the praise. That was Margaret's niece and uh, seven kids. One of them ended up in Children's Hospital with a helmet on. So that was serious. And she's really worried about her children. I, I told the Lord, and the Lord told me, in fact, he's going to give them all back. She got the place, so God's going to open up that door. So we're going to believe God for all of our children out here, the dangers that they face on a day-to-day -day basis. But right now, the lines are open. we got some moments just for people to get their prayers in, just like Betsy. They say our heart was beating a little bit too low, and now it's up. I thank God for that, in Jesus' name, and the testimony. 915-2384, 915-2384, area code 313. You can call that number now, 915-2384. It's something about us moving into that realm of the Spirit and letting God use us for his glory. To God be the glory. And if God can get the glory out of our lives, and all the honor and the praise, we can lift him up and the standard will come. When the devil would come in like a flood, God will bring forth, I mean, a standard. So we praise him right now because we know what God can do, will do, and shall do. He would do exceedingly and abundantly, far above and over what any of us might ask or think. He wants to do something for you. Yes, he does. You know, you can put in your order. You know how it is. We order sometimes. We want different food. And I forgot what the DoorDash and all them other folk will come and deliver the food. And I'm saying, wow, that's deep. I'm asking for God to do something a little bit more greater for me than a DoorDash. I'm asking for God to just deliver his spirit even the more so. And I thank God for the Spirit of God that's blessing so many of his people right now in Jesus' name. We decided to do a new thing right here at the Body of Christ, and we've been working with it. And God has been blessing us to get the job done. And it's been a little difficult. It's been a little hard, but we're keeping it going. And the Holy Spirit keeps us going right on. And so right now, those of you that will call in and come in, you will be blessed and highly favored of the Lord. I want to thank God for you, you, and especially you, and that God can do great and mighty things. I want to put my cash app up on there because I have a need of something to, to happen financially, and I need, I'm asking for a donation. Yes, I do. Uh-huh. And I really want the Lord to help me to get some things done 
it's been kind of difficult lately, but I got to buy some more equipment. And one of these little pieces of equipment costs well over $6,000. And I've got to have it. And it helps me to um, get the videos out that we're getting ready to put out as commercials. And once we get that out, it's going to go even further. So I'm believing God with you, and I want you to believe God with me. There's something new that God want to do for each and every one of us. And if we could just do that, it will help us. Those of you that I talked to in New York, those of you that I talked to in Atlanta, Florida, Alabama, Mississippi. <clears throat> I mean, we talk in a lot of places around the country, and some of you can hear me. And I'm praying for California because California is going through some rough, hard places where it's been cut up like ribs. And I told you they were in the midst of a drought. And in that drought in California, some of the houses that's up on the mountaintop is falling off. And um, it's something to behold. I try to get people to understand it. I mean, I'm trying to get it out here. I think that's it. You see it, the lifeline, prayer line, just that. Church Without Walls International, that's the cash app. <clears throat> what do it say exactly, lifeline? Okay, that's the Apostle KL Tate, a dollar sign, Apostle KL Tate. That's the cash app. And you can help us if you can. Anything, $25, $50, $100, anything you put in there would be a blessing so we can keep buying more equipment. It gets to be something when you got to go to some of these places to even get cords. <laughs> and that's a blessing. Amen. But we get the job done. We want to thank God for that. And want to thank God for you. Night after night, morning after morning, day after day, we are just here to let God have his way. It's been difficult at times, pressing and praying and believing God. There's a whole lot of people that's broken that God can, shall, and will heal. Yes, he will. And he's that kind of God. And I want to thank God that he's healing right now. And the Spirit of God to bless many of you and to encourage you and to quicken you and to strengthen you by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. So I want you to know how much we love you and we care for you, beloved. And we're asking God to do this for his praise, his honor, and his glory. And as he does it for his glory, I'm asking God to fix it for you, especially now. Now, if you open up to God, he'll never close down on you. Whatever you might need him to do, he will do. He shall do. Exceedingly and abundantly far above and over what any of you might ask a thing. I often share with people there are words from the Lord. I'm going to come off a little early tonight, but I thank God for you. And I love you so very, very much. I just want you to know we're coming on from 4 to 5, 103.5 WMUZ to light. We want you to join us. It'll be a tremendous blessing. And I want you to know we're going to do what God commissioned and called us to do, and we want you to be a part of it. Because God said he'll never let us fail. He'll never let us down. So we thank God for you, beloved. And we love you so very, very much. Continue to pray. Let God have his way. No matter what it look like, seem like, or what the young people say, what it be like. We're going to believe God together. Yes, we will. And we're going to stand in that gap. And we're going to make up that hedge for the kingdom of God. In Jesus' name. May God bless you, beloved.